I know, I know. You're looking at the title and you're like, man, Nintendo Prime, you're really late to the party. And you're right, I am. But I'm still talking about it just in case we have some people who follow our channel uh, who this is the only place to get their news from. That or just to say or just to announce, I am going to be competing in the Nintendo World Championships. Now let me, let, let me explain what's happening right now. So the official site, nwc.nintendo.com, it says, uh, play games, have fun, dream big, compete for a place in Nintendo history. And it has Mario and notably uh, an image of an inkling girl from Splatoon 2. So it might be hints at future things to come. But it says, this October, Nintendo fans will put their gaming skills to the ultimate test in an epic battle to win the Nintendo World Championships 2017. It all kicks off with eight qualifying events events at select Best Buy stores across the U.S. Join the celebration of Nintendo's past, present, and future, and maybe even win a trip to New York City for the finals. Uh, and it's open to residents in the U.S. and Canada, except for Quebec. They must have restrictions in Quebec for uh, certain competitions. And the qualifiers are taking place in New York and San Francisco uh, on August 19th and August 20th, in Chicago and Los Angeles on August 26th and 27th, Minneapolis and Dallas on September 2nd and 3rd, September 9th and 10th in Seattle and Miami. And that's notable because I'm going to the Minneapolis one. It's about an hour and a half or so drive for me to get to that Best Buy. And I'm doing that on the 3rd because I have my son's uh, second birthday party on September 2nd. So I won't be able to go that day. But I'll be, I'll be out there bright and early on the 3rd. It starts at like 11 a.m. or something. Um, and these are obviously at Best Buy store locations. Nowhere else. Uh, interestingly enough, they also have art from Zelda. Well, Zelda from Smash Bros. Uh, link from Smash Bros, I should say, and ARMS on the page as well. Again, hints at things probably to come. So how does this competition work? Well, the qualifier event uh, is Mario Kart 7. So Mario Kart 7 on a 3DS. Not 8, not Deluxe, Mario Kart 7. Uh, and you have to show up and have a blast with game demos and giveaways. Uh, they have that going on at the event. Um, the qualifier details, there are two age brackets. There's a 12 and under and the 13 and older. I'll, I'll obviously be in the 13 and older. Uh, kids of all ages are welcome. If you're 17 or younger, your parent or guardian must be present. Uh, the game is Mario Kart 7. Uh, the mode you're going to be playing in is a time trial. Uh, you'll get two tries to score the best time you possibly can. One winner from each age bracket will qualify for an invitation to the final event. And this is one winner from each age bracket at each event. So if I win the Minneapolis event with the best time, I would be invited to New York. Uh, and yes, I am going to be practicing, as will, I'm sure, thousands of other people. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, 12 and younger, you have to play with Mario. You have to use the standard cart, standard wheels, and the super glider. And the stage that you'll be doing is DS Luigi's Mansion. For the 13 and older bracket, which is the one I'll be competing in, we have Bowser you have to play as. You play as the standard cart, standard wheels, super glider, and the stage is GBA Bowser's Castle 1. So that's the stage I'm going to have to practice a ton on to get the best time possible. Uh, what's also interesting is while you're there, you can demo upcoming games. You get the chance to go hands-on with Super Mario Odyssey uh, and obviously for Nintendo Switch and Metroid Samus Returns for the 3DS. Uh, and you can also collect my Nintendo rewards if I check in with my Nintendo QR code with the my Nintendo QR code at the qualifiers I can get 100 platinum points on my my Nintendo and the, if I'm among the first 200 people that check in which I hope I am um, I can get a my Nintendo pin so that's kind of a cool thing to add to my collection uh, yeah very interesting stuff uh, we don't know what the prize will be. If I'm assuming, you know, if you remember the Nintendo World Championships in 2015, I think the prize was just a belt or a trophy. I'm, I, I don't remember exactly. We know uh, that for ARMS, they did a belt, uh, the ARMS Championship at E3, it was a belt. So we'll see uh, what it is. Uh, they definitely have Yoshi here uh, riding a cart, so that definitely represents Mario Kart. It's just interesting seeing the art because this could be hints at future games that will be in the finals. Because the finals will probably be multiple games. I can't imagine it's just one. I actually would love if they make these Nintendo World Championships like it was back in 1990. Where you're playing back to back to back to back to back all these different games. Uh, without having to wait for changeover. And you're trying to get like the highest scores. 
or as you possibly can uh, within a set time limit for each game. And then obviously the person who did the best in all the games had the best cumulative score wins. Uh, that would be really cool if that's how the finals work. I don't know. The finals might just be, you know, individual game based and then going from there. But uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Nintendo's bringing this back. Very, very interesting. It's not built around an event like E3. It's its own thing. And this is even more interesting because uh, if you watch this week's podcast, and if you haven't, I'll put a, you know, a link up here or a card or something. You should go check it out. Uh, I, well, <laughs> the headliner for it was a Mother 4 debate. We actually talk in that podcast about the potential of a Nintendo World Championships uh, and what they could become for Nintendo if they decide to really, really embrace esports. Because you might say, oh, this is really embracing esports, uh, unless there's a cash prize. Uh, it's just something really, really cool. I mean, yeah, they're paying for you to go to New York. I'm sure they're paying for hotel stays and all of that. And that's, that's all fine. But what, what I obviously would like to see is, is, is a cash prize or a scholarship or something. So some sort of monetary value, uh, to make this worth a lot of people's time. Cause even if say for me, you know, I get to go to Nintendo world championship. So it actually would give me some really cool coverage here at Nintendo prime. Um, if I didn't work at Nintendo prime, I would have to take off work to be doing this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, it, very interesting. But we talked about in the podcast about the potential of Nintendo World Championships becoming this big esports event of all this awesome live streaming. Uh, you have everyone in the world gathering in one spot, and we said they should probably do it at Universal Studios, where they're where they're building stuff in one of their theme parks. That would be amazing, uh, and offering cash prizes and having this huge open event for the entire world to come compete, almost like the Pokemon Trading Card Game Championships that they have every once in a while. Um, I remember qualifying for those in the past and going out on a cruise ship for, for you know, getting crazy there and, and, and playing card games on the cruise ship, Pokemon, trying to win the championship. Uh, granted, I don't think it was a cash prize then either, but I was a kid. I didn't really expect there to be a cash prize. Uh, but, yeah, th this is a really cool thing. I don't know how many of you are planning to go out and compete, but I'm going to be there. I'm going to be competing. I'm going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey and getting footage for that for you guys that I can put up here. Hopefully I do something in the demo that you have maybe haven't seen before. And plus, I believe if I take off-screen footage, Nintendo doesn't claim videos, so I can use that off-screen footage to talk about Super Mario Odyssey and, and other things. And obviously Metroid Samus Returns, we all know at this point my issues with Metroid Samus Returns, uh, how I wasn't that excited for it from E3 and how... Um, I, I do not like their use of Amiibo in it, but I will check it out. Maybe once I get my hands on it, I'll find out, you know what? I love this game and maybe as much as I like the original Metroid 2 and, uh, I can almost overlook maybe some of the things because I, I'm just having that good of a time with the game. We'll see. But this is pretty exciting. Nintendo World Championships 2017. It would be really cool if they start making this a yearly event and hopefully improve it every single year. Um, I'm hoping that this is not just another one-off like it was in 2015. I really think this is something really unique to Nintendo because no other company is doing this, right? It's just not a thing. So, again, if you're curious for other ideas that we had at Nintendo Prime for the Nintendo World Championships and how they could really blow up the esports scene, uh, go ahead and check out that podcast. We have like a 30-minute segment on it, so... Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more, and hey, I'll just catch you in the next one.